Hey guys, Sexy Chef Liz here. Today I am taking you behind the scenes of one of my most favorite restaurants in all of Baltimore City. It's called The Brewer's Art, and that's exactly what it is. They brew all their own beers in-house. One of their most famous beers is called The Resurrection, and of course, it is my absolute favorite. So I am really excited to go behind the scenes today, talk about this fabulous beer called Resurrection, and also meet with the chef, kind of get a feel for how he runs his kitchen, and even more exciting, tomorrow is the Chinese New Year. So what better way to celebrate than by having the chef prepare a traditional Chinese meal for us to taste. So stay tuned. I know you're going to love it, and I cannot wait. See you there. So I'm standing right outside of the Brewer's Art, which is one of the most popular and famous restaurants in Baltimore City, located in Mount Vernon. I'm about to go behind the scenes and meet with Executive Chef David. He's going to take me in his kitchen, show me all around, and tell me all the secrets about how everything works. This is a really busy restaurant. They're doing about between 150 to 350 people a night. So they need to be on the game, on the ball, and do everything to perfection. Not only that, they brew all their own beer here. So I'm going to show you my favorite beer by far, The Resurrection. Let's head inside, I can't wait. have about six beers on tap. Okay. And they change. Three or four of them are standards and they'll always be here. Uh -huh. And we have a few seasonals that come in and out. Uh -huh. And I think, There's correct me if six. I'm wrong, the Resurrection is probably your best seller and Absolutely the most popular beer here. Absolutely our best seller. It's um, definitely my favorite. my favorite beer, that's for sure. It seems to be both. So tell me Dave, in celebration of the Chinese New Year, which is tomorrow, what are we going to be making today? We're going to do a noodle bowl with Marvesta shrimp, which mm, is that sounds delicious. a local shrimp farm um, from the Eastern Shore that we love to use. We get daily, so it was a fresh shrimp. That sounds amazing. I love shrimp and anything with noodles. So um, on our way back, I guess we can take a tour around. Absolutely. I'll show you uh, where we're making here. Wonderful. So this is our dining room. Um, we have two dining rooms. This is the main dining room. Our back dining room that we, when we're busy, we see people here and uh, we do cards back here. Awesome. I like it. It's kind of rustic. Yeah, it's cool. It's kind of uh, Awesome. I so, think you guys are jamming out back here. These are our two uh, main oh, wow. And then we funnel it downstairs. It's um, fermented downstairs. It's awesome. Actually, this is so cool. I've never been in, inside one of these before. Yeah, it's really pretty. It is. What I'm going to do for you guys is um, it's our Marvesta noodle bowl. Marvesta is a local shrimp company, a local shrimp farm uh -huh. um, from the Eastern Shore. And has Marvesta come here yet today? Did they manage to come here? Yeah. It's pretty neat. If they show up, you're going to see the packaging. It actually has the harvest time. Oh, wow. So it'll say, if the, it'll say today the shrimp were um, harvested at 12 or 5. It has a minute, oh, cool. which is really neat. Um, and you can see they're fresh shrimp. Uh, if they're frozen, the, you won't see these long feelers. They crack. So that's kind of a, an indicator of fresh shrimp. Awesome. And I think they're the best shrimp I've ever had. I really never had. I don't know really had fresh shrimp. So, yeah, but shrimp freezes really well, so you should see it. But these are fresh. So, um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a stir fry. Um, it's like a lo mein. Okay. Um, we get fresh noodles that are made for us in uh, silver spray. Right. And it has uh, a bunch of Asian aromatics, ginger and garlic, and a sauce we make that's kind of soy based with uh -huh. sesame. Um, we 
get heirloom carrots and uh, we pickle them. So it's a pickled carrot salad. And we pickle a, diff a bunch of different um, Asian mushrooms. Okay. Uh, wow. Shiitakes and oysters. I don't know what else in there. Hen of the Woods or Maitakis. Wow. That's what we have today. Uh, and then we make little shrimp balls. Oh, kind of shrimp cool. dumplings out of um, the meat from the uh, Marvesta shrimp. Wow, that's so, so neat. I don't think I've ever one. seen those. It's ground up shrimp and uh -huh. it has, uh, this dish is kind of all over the map. I, I'd almost, I'd say it's like uh, more Indonesian than Chinese actually. Um, okay. Singapore influenced, a melting pot of Asia. Awesome. Um, it has some Thai, some Indonesian, some Chinese, no, yeah. cool. some Korean, it's kind of all over the map. Uh, let me get a bowl. Okay. Awesome. So what I learned today so far is that if these were frozen, these they wouldn't have the little feelers because they would have broken off. So tips from the chefs. Another thing is um, this. I always thought it was a brain. It's actually their pancreas. Oh wow! And if you can see it, it's pink. It's a fresh shrimp. Um, huh? Especially um, with a fresh shrimp. If it's not treated, the heads will turn black really fast. Oh wow! So that's another sure tail sign. Um, getting a getting with the chefs out there. That's awesome. Good to know, good to know. And then we're going to do, uh, we make a consomme here, so we make a, we use the whole shrimp. We use um, the shells to make a consomme, we make okay. stock and then we clarify it. So it's kind of a, a laborious uh, process. process yeah. <laughs> um, so, okay, so um, we're going to do a, kind of a, a noodle stir fry meets a soup. That's awesome. kind of the theme of the dish. So, we'll start. Here at the restaurant, we season everything fairly aggressively. Okay. Probably more so than you would at home. Uh, high and... Nice. Yeah, we try to season things very evenly. Uh, Technique. So... Uh, this is grapeseed oil. Oh, uh, wow. We like grapeseed oil. It has a real high smoke point. You can see these two different pans. Uh -huh. I call these wok pans. Okay. This, the oil is already smoking in this pan. It takes like yeah. five seconds. As where this is a heavy bottom French pan, and it takes a few minutes actually. Okay. Um, so you want you want it to start smoking? Well, depending on the application. Um, okay. We're also going to heat up a constant Slowly. So this is a uh, stop with a lot of Asian aromatics that we, uh, okay. we make with the shrimp shells, and then we clarify it so it's nice and clear. Uh huh. The thing about consomme is you can't boil them because they're clarified with egg whites. Oh, okay. And, uh, it'll get cloudy and foam up. Gotcha. See if I, I get it too hot, it might happen. Gotcha. So I'll add my shrimp in the pan. Okay. I'll turn it down. Stir fry sauce. It's kind of a soy based uh -huh. mixture. 
Ooh, and hot chili oil. Yeah. Yum. So you selected the best one? Yeah, I'm pretty much that. It looks cool. Yeah. So, let's see. So, the, the finishing garnish will move uh, 50 of our <laughs> thousand pounds of potatoes. Yeah, that I say looks that I'll have every produce company in uh, Baltimore. <laughs> Uh-huh. So we finish it with um, toasted black sesame seeds. Nice. That gives it really great color too. Yeah. And um, a little chili with that. Ooh. Yeah, I mean spicy. I like it. And some um, cilantro. Yeah. Yeah. So it's good water. Yeah, that cilantro really adds a lot of great yeah, color on the top. Cool. That looks That's fabulous. Good. Amazing. Yes, definitely. We'd love to. Cool. So here's our finished dish. Resurrection, which is our go-to beer resort. Uh, so is there any way I should eat this in a specific order? However you want. I mean, I would go with the diner lower so. <laughs> I like the broth. I mean, okay. I that's, that's the thing that Let's takes taste. us the most time. Let's taste it. It's a proud. Wow, that's really, really, really awesome. It is. It's got a lot of different flavors. Citrusy, a little bit spicy. You can really taste everything. Here, we can both dig in. Mmm. That shrimp is so phenomenal. The flavors just explode in your mouth. Yeah, you were a kid. <laughs> Once again, it's kind of a hodgepodge of Asian. Yeah. It's going to be a big bite. It's new for us, but it will be open. So, so delicious. And my favorite to top it off with this fabulous resurrection that I've been talking about. Mm. Absolutely amazing. And I love the, the little kind of goblet that you guys have. Yeah, we get them. They're from Belgium. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely perfect. Thank you so much for, for having us here and you know taking us through your kitchen and showing us this amazing dish and telling us a little bit about everything. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much, David.